Hello and welcome students. This is our lecture number 46 and you may be surprised that this is our last lecture for the chapter Shear Force and Bending Moment Diagrams. Let us see some numericals based on the last method that is point of contrafracture. Actually the point of contrafracture is applicable to overhanging beams only. You must know what is overhanging beam. You can see in this figure what is overhanging beam exactly. It is the beam in which the supports are not perfectly at the end points. You can see at point A the support is at end point while at point B support is in between the beam because C is the last end point of the beam but there is no support at point C. So portion BC, you can see this portion BC of 1 meter length is overhanging right side. Now basically what is point of contrafracture? Point of contrafracture existing in bending moment diagrams only. You can see the definition of it in an overhanging beam. There will be a point where the bending moment will change the sign from negative to positive or vice versa means from negative to positive or from positive to negative when the bending moment changes the sign. At that point, such a point, that particular point in the bending moment diagram is known as point of contraflexion. So this is the extra topic or you can say new topic in which we have to find point of contraflexion in the bending moment diagram particularly. So let us see couple of numericals to understand this phenomena. Let us see the example number 13.13. What is given in this? An overhanging beam ABC is loaded as shown in the figure. This is beam ABC overhanging having length 3 meter between AB and 1 meter between BC. Entire beam is loaded with UDL of 4.5 kN per meter and we have to draw shear force and bending moment diagrams and we have to find point of contrafracture also. If any means if there is a point existing. Must note in overhanging beam there there is each and every time there is a point of contrafracture is there. So we have to calculate it. Let us solve the support reactions first as per usual method taking the moment at point A. Now there is only one load acting on the beam that is UDL. Now here at point B support reaction RB which is moving anti-clockwise so RB into 3 will be anti-clockwise moment as the distance from RB to point A is 3 meter. Now UDL. UDL is acting on entire beam 4.5 into total length 4. So 4.5 into 4 is the load only. And this UDL will exactly act at the center of the length. This total length is 4 meter. So this center will be at 2 meter. So this center to point A the distance will be 2 which is multiplied with the load over here. So answer will be 36. By solving you can get 36 by 3 is equal to 12 kN. So it is the first support reaction RB 36 kN. Now how to calculate RA? You must know that it is total load minus the upper reaction RB. So total load is the UDL only which is 4.5 on 4 meter length. And the upper reaction is 12 kN RB. So which is subtracted and answer will be 6 kN for RA. So RB is 12 kN and RA is 6 kN respectively. So basically this is the calculation for support reactions only. Now let us move ahead and we will check the SF and BM diagram for the same beam. Okay, so you can see in this figure here are the SF and BM diagram. Let us first see the shear force diagram. At point A 6 kN support reaction is acting and at point B 12 kN support reaction is acting. So at point A Draw the 6 kN line upwards as the force is going up. Now, talking about the next point, from A to B is the next point. In between A and B, there is a UDL of 4.5 on 3 meter length. So 4.5 into 3, which will give you the answer something around 12 or 13.5. So you just subtract 13.5 from the this peak value 6. Here you are standing at 6 meter or 6 units. So from 6 just minus 13.5 you will get the answer of minus 7.5 over here. Minus 7.5. Now you are at point B right now. 
intersection is there uh, which is denoted by m at point b 12 kilo newton load is acting upwards so minus 7.5 to positive 12 which will give the answer of 4.5 positive and from this point b to c the udl is 4.5 on the length of 1 meter only okay so 4.5 into 1 that is 4.5 unit load is acting from b to c so 4.5 going down incline due to udl and closing the diagram at zero at point c exactly so b to c the load is 4.5 into 1 that is 4.5 so 4.5 minus 4.5 answer will be zero let us see the calculation shear force at a which is equal to support reaction at ra going up means positive 6 kilo newton 6 kilo newton is carry forwarded at point b and from a to b udl is 4.5 into 3 which is 13.5 negative and at point B itself 12 kilo newton is going up means positive so total calculation will be 4.5 kilo newton so it is the shear force at point B now shear force at point C the 4.5 value is carry forwarded and from B to C again the UDL is acting as 4.5 meter so 4.5 into 1 going down means negative answer is 0 so at the last point you will getting the shear force as 0 now for this intersection point we have to calculate the value of x as usual before that let us uh, talk about the bending moment diagram in that first point and last point bending moment must be zero as per our regular rules and conditions so at point a moment is zero at point c moment is zero now we have to calculate moment at point m and moment at point b only you just check the moment at point b so as per our rule starting from the right side so you can see in the main figure at point b right side of point b only this much udl is acting concentrate on the figure this much udl is acting means 4.5 into 1 so 4.5 into 1 is the load which is downwards means negative now this 4.5 is also acting at the center and from the center we have to take the distance up to point b because we are calculating the moment at point b so this particular distance is half of 1 which is equal to 1 half. So final answer will be minus 2.25 kilo newton meter acting at point B only which is negative so downwards. So here you can see the point of contraflexure is existing because from point A to B, A to P the diagram is positive while from P to C the diagram is negative. So at this point, at this particular point P the bending moment changes from positive to negative so this point is known as point of contrafracture this point of contrafracture need to be calculated from point a the distance from point a it is y so we have to basically calculate y at which the point of contrafracture is acting okay so now our other target is also to find the bending moment at m which is always maximum because the shear force at point m is zero let us check that type of calculation okay the same figure is continued over here now let us first find the ratio for this triangle we have to calculate x so this triangle and this triangle are vertically opposite means similar so taking the ratio base x height 6 base 3 minus x height 7.5 so x upon 6 3 minus x upon 7.5 this is the ratio by solving and solving and solving we will get the answer of x as 1.33 meter so this is the answer of x now we have to calculate moment at m so this is the point m at which we have to calculate the bending moment so from left side first force is 6 kilo newton and at a distance of x means 1.33 so 6 into 1.33 is the first moment which is going up means positive second one is this much udl from a to m which is equal to 4.5 into this distance which is 1.33 as calculated so 4.5 into 1.33 this is the udl only between a to m now this udl is acting at the center and from this center the distance up to point m is 1.33 by 2 so 1.33 by 2 is multiplied with the udl so final answer of the bending moment at point m will be 4 kilo newton into meter so this is the particular calculation for the maximum movement at point M which is 4 kilometer. Now the most important thing is that 
at the point of contrafiction bending moment must be zero you can see at the point p bending moment is zero and we have to calculate the distance of point p from point a that is why so let us take the moment or let us find the moment at point p from the left side so you can just imagine this is the point b okay this is the point p let us change the color let us change the color for your conveniency okay now you can see this is the line of point p now we have to take the moment at point p from the left support so the first reaction is 6 kilo newton which is going up up to point p the distance is y over here concentrate on the figure carefully it is very dangerous 6 into y so 6 into y is positive going up now udl udl from this point p this point is p point okay this is the point p so from the u point a to point p udl will be 4.5 m to y so 4.5 into y is the distance and this udl will be acting at the center of y the center is at a distance of y by 2 from point p so this is y by 2 which is multiplied with the udl so this is basically becoming a quadratic equation you can see Solution of this will give you 2.25y square minus 6y equal to 0 by changing the sign also as per your 10 standard quadratic equation. Now just solve this y will be common out and 2.25y is equal to 6 or you can say y equal to 2.67 meter. So at a distance of 2.67 meter the point of contrafixture is acting. So basically this is the numerical based on point of contrafacture so this is our last method you just practice this type of numerical at your own and you will get the basic fundamental of the point of contrafacture so students this type of more examples are also available in your textbook in your atul publication textbook and this chapter becoming very very tough as per the calculation purpose or as per the calculator purpose so you must cal practice your calculator very well at your home also so let us close the chapter over here do practice at your own very well and let us hope that your weekend means saturday sunday will be utilized for this practice thank you very much students we will meet with the next chapter in the next lecture in the next week on Monday morning. Thank you very much and goodbye.